Welcome back everyone. The Apple Watch Series 2 was one of those Apple Watches Apple made many many years ago and I've already said Apple like 30 times. And this is the most interesting thing about this Apple Watch. It's not really being sold by Apple anymore as most of you can tell. But this is the thing about this watch. It was in my personal watch that I used for about a year and some change. And this was actually a very good Apple Watch that I owned. So I owned the original Apple Watch Zero when that thing came out. And that was a pretty good Apple Watch too. But it got slow super fast. Like within the first like couple of days it was like very slow to me already. But the Apple Watch Series 2 is still a very decent Apple Watch all things considered. It's definitely not the best performing Apple Watch anymore. It definitely doesn't have, you know, everything going for it. But I do think for what it is and, you know, how expensive it is now and it's how much it degraded, I don't think it's an ugly watch and I think it has some things going for it. Now, this Apple Watch did come in two different sizes. So it came in that 38mm size and then it came in that 42mm size. I did have that bigger model, but typically they were kind of the same thing. They performed the same thing as well. But here was my favorite thing about the Apple Watch Series 2. This watch felt so good in the hand and I was just such a huge fan of just how great and the you know and how much features this thing had inside of it compared to my other watches before this thing actually had a lot of capability and I was actually really happy about it mostly because it did bring a couple of cooler things you know at that time it did bring a brighter display it brought a dual core processor and it brought water resistance as well with my original watch it was kind of scary you know I, the battery life wouldn't you know last as long as I wanted it to be but this thing actually handled everything I threw at it pretty well which was amazing now this watch and the newer watches still use the same bands so that's a very important thing to keep in mind if you're planning on buying this Apple watch or you're planning on buying an Apple watch series 7 now do keep in mind that the newer watches and this watch have the same bands so that's a really cool thing you can interchange the apple watch bands whenever you want to and that's another really cool thing that this apple watch had going for it on top of that the only sad thing and disadvantage of this apple watch was probably the fact that it did end support much sooner than the apple watch series 3 so the apple watch series 3 is still being sold by apple brand new which is crazy i don't think that's a good idea to buy but i don't think the apple watch series 2 is a bad idea either it's very weird to understand basically if you're rocking an iphone 13 or 13 pro Max. I'm not too sure if the Apple Watch Series 2 will work on those iPhones, but when I was using this Apple Watch, I think it was with my iPhone 11 Pro or something like that, this Apple Watch still had a lot of power and it pretty much handled a lot of things I threw at it at that time. I mean, I typically do standard things, you know, like just checking my steps and then checking the time and occasionally checking a message. I very rarely respond to messages on my Apple Watch and that's about the furthest I go on my watch. I don't really go or do anything crazier than that. I'm not like trying to do anything super insane, but I do think for the basic things that I did with my watch, this this Apple Watch handled it perfectly fine and I was extremely happy about the performance of this watch as well. Although compared to something even like my Apple Watch Series 4, definitely not as fast. But this watch pretty much handled a lot of things I threw at it and I was very happy. I was a very happy customer with this specific watch. So ultimately the performance of the Apple Watch Series 2 is still pretty decent in 2022. Just do keep in mind that I just probably want to recommend buying it just because it's pretty much outdated with software and that's my main concern. Although this Apple Watch physically still feels fine, although it still looks very good, it, my only issue with it is that it's pretty outdated with software and that's the main disadvantage. I don't want to recommend a watch that may already not work with your iPhone or that it may already be outdated by the time you get it. And the same thing goes with iPhones and all those other things. I wouldn't even recommend buying an Apple Watch Series 3 anymore because of kind of the same concern. So ultimately Ultimately, when it comes down to the Apple Watch Series 2, it still has a lot of life left in it. Unfortunately, because of the software limitations, I just wouldn't really recommend buying it anymore because of those limitations. When compared to even an Apple Watch Series 3 that's still supported, even though I wouldn't recommend buying that phone either, you still have a little bit more capability when it comes out of that device. So ultimately, when it comes down to it, the Apple Watch Series 2 is still a very good Apple Watch. I just probably wouldn't recommend buying it anymore. So if you want to buy some Apple Watches, I would recommend this here. Links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.